Welcome, beautiful people. I am Chef B. Welcome back to my channel. Make sure to stay subscribe down below. Now, for today's video, I'll be styling this wig from RPGshow.com. And the hair that we'll be styling today won't be just a regular schmegular wig. This is their Afro Kinky Texture U Part wig so this is how the wig is looking straight out of the packaging it has combs on the inside because you want those to hold in your hair also it comes with the adjustable band to make sure you get a snug fit now i got mine in a medium size which is 22.5 to 23 inches because i wanted to make sure that it fit and it wasn't too small for my head now you can get this in different colors jet black natural black i went for natural black but i should have went for a jet black um, to better match the natural color of my hair so i'm just doing a shed test like just running my hands or my fingers rather through the hair just to see if i was getting any shedding with the hair which i did not which is really good for a kinky texture hair usually you get shedding with tight coils tight curly type of wigs but i didn't have any shedding at all also i co-wash the hair make sure that it is super clean even though the package said disinfected and all that good stuff but i like to wash kinky curly hair like this just to make sure that it's soft manageable and detangled now this is hair how my hair is looking i said the wig had to be detangled as you guys can see my hair is not detangled at all i have this crazy fro going on right now as you guys can see it just does not look detangled at all like girl what's going on but i just wanted a quick and easy protective styling but i wanted it to look as if it was my natural hair so i'm just sectioning my hair for the leave outs as you guys can see i'm going to do a center part and the thing with you part wigs you can do it as a side part center part you can do a half up half down type of vibe going on with it but for this look i'm going to do a center part so i'm just sectioning my hair for where i'm going to have my leave outs and then i just did some big old doodle doodle plaques what am i saying I did some big old braids in the back. It's looking hella crazy, but sis, that's the joy of doing a protective styling using a wig. You just put away all what's going on in the back right there away. So I'm just gonna use the scissors just to remove the extra lace in the middle. You don't need that, so I'm gonna cut it out and then we're gonna jump right into applying the wig. Now I'm gonna use my Bella Certified Scalp Drop. I use this all the time. I put it directly on my problem area um, and it helps to stimulate stimulate growth and um, I also use the scalp oil for itching and all of that so that when I'm wearing these type of protective styling such as wigs or braids or whatever my scalp doesn't get itchy under so I'm just adjusting the wig to properly fit make sure the combs are in make sure the strap is fitted and just applying the wig properly so i'm just going to show you guys how i do that and how i'm about to style this hair So as you guys can see, I fluffed out the hair as much as I wanted. Um, this is in 12 inches. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but all the details will be in the description box and the direct link to the wig. Okay, now what I was saying earlier about matching my hair better. Now the texture matches fantastic. However, my hair is more on the jet black side as opposed to natural black or natural um, brown color. So. Um, it's slightly off so y'all don't be judging me i know so you want to make sure that if your hair is jet black you get a jet black unit if you have a natural black like the color that you're seeing on screen go for that in the regular daylight or whatever it doesn't show that much it just looks blended in because i went to the mall even though i ain't got much where else to go 
But um, I went to the mall with this and it came off as if it was my regular hair to a lot of people and I'm not one to correct them, okay? So um, we being deceitful out here. But yes, yeah, so it blended well in terms of texture. I have a 4B4C type hair. But um, color wise, y'all get the gist. Get something that matches your color exactly. So I'm just doing a little bit of bobby pin sleeve type thing. I don't even know what I was going for with this, but I don't know. I just wanted to give it a little different, a different type of look instead of just doing like a fro fro. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, that is basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching. As I said, the details for this unit will be in the description box below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at damn that's chef and i will see you guys in my next video go on big up on yourself bye guys